What's up, connectors? Monkey Paw Pig, right here, back with the new pig. We got Lewis, that's me, that's right, and we got King Kid Production, right there, right there. We got this awesome, awesome Mick Fallen Injustice 2 Grill Groot figure. This thing is a beast. Multiverse, I love it. And if you saw the last video of the Batman Beyond, I noticed a crane. They've stopped using artwork and put pictures of the figure on the cards in the back of the figure. I can't believe it. Check this bad boy out. Has some weight to it, too. That's a beast, right, Ken? It's, it's nice and beefy. I like how big it is, too. That thing takes up like a full package. Awesome. Any source material? Uh, so, it's it, from the Injustice 2 video games, 2017. Uh, yeah. Obviously, the picture is not from that. It's a figure itself. And I'm but, trying to think of which ones uh, we have done. I think we haven't done many of this set. So as this set, we get Robbie, we get Flashpoint Batman, and we get the Gold Edition Batman. Gold label. Gold label. Gold label. Yeah, so Tom we've done four as the set on here. Boom. We did just find the Unmasked. Flashpoint Batman. Yes, we did. On that road trip, go check that video. Like it, like this video. Helps us out. Let's open this beefy figure up. Check it out, we got this bad boy over to beefy, beefy figure. I like how big it is. Supposedly, it's there, but it's not there because it's so big. We got the card. I love these cards, like always, tell you guys, but I did picture the figure, but they didn't probably pause it, boom, you can read all about it with that. Six foot three, that's it? Yeah, he They is. make him look so much bigger yeah. than, than everything else. And that fly figure, yeah. I go with it, if, if this dude is six foot three, <laughs> that fly? Is eight foot two. Hey, have you seen? You seen it, but have you guys see that flash? It looks like a goddamn giant. Oh, Jesus, that's 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 some bad scaling right there. That is bad. I I thought he was gonna be like at least eight foot. Yeah, he's a grill. He's a big dude. Like, I don't know, uh, but yeah. So here we go. We got this thing posed up. It, it has some nice tight joints of it. Yeah, they, they, it, we, it. we've had in the past where these bigger figures would have loose joints. And mm -hmm. they, you, you'd only be able to get like one position. You, you can get a couple positions, but look at this. Yes, I mean. Look at all that detail on that armor. Yeah, it's that uh, detail. But... If you want to make it even better, you can give it some uh, gold paint over it to make it really pop, like shiny. Is this gold feels a bit dull? It needs like black wash or something. Yeah, you want to give it some, some weathering look. Yeah, make it look like a piece. Oh god, but I do love this game. I'm a fan of it. Kane's too busy taking out for I was just making sure he wasn't cross-eyed. Like the shredder. That, that's Nika. That's Nika. Nika has that problem. McFarlane, I love He you. knows how to paint eyes. Well, not him per se, but yes. That company knows how to paint. Nika, if you want to check this out, go to a video. Check out the Super Shredder. Figure that thing is cross eyes like a mother. And once it's seen, it can't be unseen. Every time we see a shredder at the store, yeah, it's yeah. worse and worse every time we see it. It, it is just not a great, great figure at all. 
But this thing, I gotta say, I'm happy with it. I, I like the, the detail. I do like the idea of adding a blog box to give it some weathering to make it look be up to make it pop a little bit. I wish the arms had the double joint so I could get that pounding motion or something that would look great. But I will say, if you are one of the people that did the collectible figure from Mercedes, I've seen pictures of this guy with that sword, and it looks freaking amazing. So give him that sword, you great. So, I'm not going to give it any today. I'm going to jump right into this review. I'm going to give this a 7.5. The reason being, I would like it to have a little bit more articulation to get some possibility. Uh, one the accessory would have been cool because I understand it from the game, but they do use weapons in the game. So give them a staff, a spear, a nunchuck, I don't know, but something cool. I would have been cool with that. But the face, the detail of the mouth, I love it. Awesome. What do you got, Ken? I'm at a seven, only because I think with any of the Gorilla Grods, and it might be different with Injustice 2, I didn't like the playthroughs on it because it's like fight, fight, cutscene, fight, yeah. fight, cutscene. That, that's not my style of game. But in the DC Universe, uh, the CW, in any of the sh cartoons, he's a big guy. So yeah. the figure should have been a little... Oh, man. This guy is keep on talking and talking and talking. Man. Every other character is out there. So I'm at a seven. But all in all, I still think it's a really good figure. Hunting for that platinum I want, edition. I want that silver platinum. I need it. I would love to get it. I would love it. What do you guys think about this figure? If you have it, do you agree? Do you disagree? Tell us below. I would love Love to hear everything you guys think about. I love interacting with all of you. Comment below, like the video, check out our other videos, help us out. So links below with the Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Until next time, characters, happy hunting.